Long before Luke Skywalker saved the universe, before Captain Kirk founded the Federation, there was Billy. Welcome back to the Junk Runner Rice, me the Junk Man coming back at you with another video. Don't forget two videos a day, Monday through Friday, one at noon and another one at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. What time's that in your era? I'll let you figure out the math. I'm not a math wizard here. Today we're going to look at a science fiction toy before science fiction became really cool. 1978, Star Wars toys came out and kids wanted Star Wars toys and everyone was trying to rip off the latest science fiction movie and toys. Kids just love science fiction toys, aliens and robots and stuff. But this toy line was released way before Star Wars. It was releasing toy stores way before Star Trek. And when I say before Star Trek, I mean the cartoon series and the movie series. So don't have to tell me in the comments before the TV show was already out. We're going back to 1968 to look at this cool toy line that's based on a science fiction astronaut. His name is Billy Jackoff. Now let's... That's not his name. What does? <laughs> it's not his name, junk man. you so silly. Oh, sorry about that. We're going to look at Billy Bathgate. Now Billy... His name, it's not his name either. His name is Billy Blastoff. Blastoff. Apparently his name is Billy Blastoff. This toy was this toy line was released in 1968 by a tump, by a toy company called Eldon E L D O N El, Eldon. Hope I said that right. They was also released in Japan, where Eldon sold the rights to them to Tommy Tomy. Tom, I used to say Tommy. Then I was told it was called Tumi, and then somebody told me it was called Tuma. So I, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but. Well, let's take a closer look at these toys. They're pretty awesome, especially for the time period. Let's look at Billy Blastoff himself in his spacesuit. He even walks. What a cool looking figure, am I right? Now these figures were before my time, but they look really awesome. If I was a kid in 1968 or 1969, I would have bought these toys, I think. They look like a lot of fun. And Billy had a lot of play accessories to go along with the figure. And he had a friend he could walk around with. Here's his friend right here, Walking Robbie Robot. I don't know, something about robots in the 60s, there was only named Robbie. I don't know why that was such a popular name for a, for a robot. My brother had a friend named Robbie Robertson, but I don't think he was a robot. And there was a few different Robbie Robots to play with. As you can see right here, here's another one in a box. Now I promise you that Billy Jerkoff, I mean Billy Blastoff, had a lot of stuff to play with. So let's look at the, some of the accessories that he could be played with. There was Billy's snowmobile set. Yeah, he might have been an astronaut, but he loved the snow. And there was a deluxe Billy Blastoff and Robbie Robot space set. This thing is awesome. It's got a little missile and a little car like you ride around on the moon. It looks like a lot of fun. Then there was a space base set. This thing looked like it would have been cool to play with my Star Wars figures with. Even the walking Billy had his own set. Right here with the walking Billy Blastoff space scout set. There was a couple of toy lines that just had weird clear boxes. You had the Lunar Crawler. Radiation Truck. That sounds dangerous. And the Walking Vehicle. I guess it's a vehicle that walks. Seems kind of slow if you ask me. I don't know why they would have that. There was also a Space Scout accessory pack. Now Bobby wasn't just a toy line. There was also games, as you can see here, at least two different games. There was even a bubble blowing plastic pistol called the Billy Blaster Bubble Popper. Whew, that's a mouthful right there. These weren't just your normal toy figures, as you could hook them to a battery pack that could power up some accessories like a radar scope, a space gun, and an underwater light. Ooh, water and electricity! Now I don't know why this line is not popular. It's a nice little toy line. If you collect toys, I think it would look really cool to have. I wouldn't mind putting a Billy back here. What about Robbie the Robot? Pfft, who cares about Robbie the Robot? I'd rather have that robot from Lost in Space. What was his name? Oh, Ted. That was cool. Robot. Remember that one? Danger Real Robertson. Oh, what a great toy right there. But these today, they're not hard to find. You can find them on eBay. You can usually find Billy maybe missing some accessories for around $30. And then when you get into more complete, great detail, a few hundred dollars, or right at the low end of the hundreds, and sometimes you can find some of the playsets still in the box. But I wasn't sure how many people knew about this line. I've always seen it at toy stores, and every once in a while in magazines it would pop up, and I thought, man, that's a cool-looking toy that was before my time. When it comes to toys on this channel, mostly I talk about the 70s, 80s, and 90s. We do reach back to the 50s and the 60s and other time periods, but... You know, there's a golden era for us, us Gen X's of the 70s and 80s, but 
There's something about these 1960 toys that really look good and capture the imagination. Well, maybe you're a little older than me. Maybe you did have Billy Jackoff. I mean, Billy Jerkoff. I mean, Billy Blastoff. Maybe you let your friends play with them. Maybe you took them to school. Maybe you even took them to kindergarten and let Billy Blastoff blast off your kindergarten teacher. Who knows what you did with these, but they look really cool. So, let me know what you think. I think it's time to bring Billy back. Give him a Netflix series. Give him his own movie. Bring a new toy line back. Do one that's in a retro style and a new modern style for the new kids, I guess. Billy Blastoff. What a lot of fun. Well, I want to thank you for watching. Thumb up so you like my content. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.